is this video of a woman arguing about food stamps AI generated. Now this actually popped up on Newsmax, which is a cable news company I work for as an intelligence analyst and security contributor. And yes, you can grab my Intel Life shirt at Bunker Branding. Specifically, the show it came up on was Carl Higby Frontline, which I have appeared on before. So let's watch the video that was played on Newsmax first. Y'all ain't hear me. They cut my food stamps. I ain't paying for none of this shit. I got babies at home that gotta eat. You think I'm just gonna leave my cart here? Hell no. I ain't paying nothing. I'm walking out with it. Try and stop me. Now I have to start by saying that nobody gets up in the morning wanting to do a bad job. Nobody intends to come into work to get the story wrong. Newsmax is a conservative news outlet and it definitely has a conservative perspective on the news. But one interesting thing is that they hire everybody across the political spectrum. I am not a conservative. In fact, most intelligence analysts literally can't be political or partisan because it would create mistrust with their clients. So you can be confident that while Newsmax has a targeted audience, like any company, it's made up of people across the political spectrum and nobody, no matter what their political leanings might be, wants to get the story wrong. You stay classy, San Diego. I'm Ron Burgundy? Damn it! Who typed a question mark on the teleprompter? So let me go over some of the features of this particular video which can flag it as AI. And yes, I went over this video frame by frame. Quick note to international viewers, food stamps, which are often called SNAP or Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, is a United States government program which offers food purchasing assistance for low-income families. Right now, there is some trouble in the US Congress with finding funding for food stamps. Uh, but by the way, at one point, they were literally food coupons or food stamps similar to a ration book from World War II. Today, benefits are distributed on electronic benefit debit cards, which is why you might go into a store and see a sign that says EBT accepted. Uh, but the name food stamps is still colloquially used to talk about SNAP benefits. So the first red flag for me is the length of the video, which is about 15 seconds. This is the upper limit for the Sora 2 AI generating video standard tier. Phones today, this thing can record more than 15 seconds worth of video. I mean, if you look at this uh, viral airport fight video, it goes on for 47 seconds. The max limit for Sora 2 Pro Plan generation, right now on the $200 a month plan, is 25 seconds. So the, the short time is kind of the first clue here. Second clue is lack of logos. The groceries don't have any logos on them. And while it might be common for someone using SNAP benefits to buy generics or store brands, even store brands have logos. None of the food here has a logo, and that makes sense. AI doesn't understand the physical world. Models are based on a statistical probability. The training process is also designed to filter out things like logos and trademarks and block a model from reproducing them. This is to avoid lawsuits. Coca-Cola, Walmart, Pepsi, they don't want their branding appearing on deep fakes or violent clips. So when a model is told to make a supermarket, it's gonna draw a generic visual pattern. Boxes, labels, bright colors, but it, it's missing the statistical patterns that are tied to actual logos. Next, I wanna focus on the woman's shirt. I think this model tried to generate some kind of born to be wild shirt, but the text doesn't make any sense. AI models don't understand that letters like A or B are discrete tokens that must appear in a specific order to form a word. Uh, AI really only sees triangle-like shape near a double circle-like shape. When the model tries to recreate text, it's copying pixel patterns, not spelling. A child's brain between the ages of like two and four, it can recognize some shapes, like they might see the McDonald's M and be like, oh, I associate that pattern with tasty chicken nuggets. Children around four or five, they start to understand that certain shapes stand for certain sounds. Around five or seven, they start to realize those shapes form sounds. So C-A-T becomes cat as opposed to ka-ata, right? A human brain eventually figures out those letters make words and words make meaning and many words make sentences and so on. You can draw sounds. Yes, I can draw sounds. 
The AI can't make that leap, at least not yet. It paints the idea of writing similar to how a toddler scribbles on a wall and calls it art. The next thing I noticed was lack of security cameras. Uh, I went to Target just yesterday and I was thinking about this video when I happened to look up at the ceiling. And that's when I saw the massive amount of security cameras in the ceiling. This bothered me so much that I drove to Walmart, the one on Georgia Avenue, and I took a picture of the ceiling. There is a security camera on the ceiling every six feet or so at this particular Walmart. But this video has no security cameras in the ceiling. Why? Well, it's likely a lack of training data. Training data needs pictures to train off of. And how often do you take pictures of the ceiling? I mean, it's most likely that these cameras are not included inside of a picture or cameras are designed to be non-salient. You're not supposed to notice them. I mean, when I type in supermarket in Adobe stock photos, you don't really get any pictures of security cameras. In fact, I can only find one stock photo that has security cameras in them. Cameras also hang at like odd angles or they have cables and that kind of fine functional geometry is, is it's hard for diffusion or video models to, to render consistently across frames. Another strange artifact is this woman's cell phone camera appears to be on the left side of the phone. Most people are right-handed so the camera tends to be on the right side of the phone so the fingers don't cover the lens. If I hold the phone like this there's a chance my finger might come in front of the lens. So I thought that was kind of weird. In fact, that was actually the first thing that I noticed. Uh, finally, at about uh, 3.22 seconds in, the woman's hand just kind of clips through a bottle. Now, originally I was gonna feed this through uh, Cyabra detection software, but as soon as I saw the clipping, I knew it was fake. So I took all this evidence and uh, I went to the CEO of Newsmax. He takes stuff like this seriously. And he wrote back to me within 14 minutes and CC'd a number of people in the organization. They said they would make a correction on Carl Higby Frontline, which is what a good news organization does. The fact is that these things happen. And as AI gets better, it's going to happen more often. But a good news organization corrects itself when it gets the facts wrong. So yeah. This clip was fake. It fooled a lot of people and for a few hours made it on air. But the lesson isn't that the media is dumb. It's that AI is getting dangerously good at lying convincingly. The next time you see a video that hits every single emotional button, especially outrage, slow down, look for mistakes, and try to figure out if someone might be manipulating you because deep fakes don't spread because they're realistic. They spread because they're believable enough for people who want to believe. Hey, grab my Intel Life t-shirt at Bunker Branding. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the modern age of progress and preparedness, one thing separates the professional from the amateur, appearance. That's why forward-thinking Americans choose Bunker Branding Apparel, the official uniform of those who get things done. Each shirt is precision engineered and field tested under rigorous conditions such as extended YouTube filming operations, Substack editorial duty, and the occasional internet argument. Designed for comfort, durability, and undeniable sense of tactical cool. So remember, citizens, when you're defending democracy, refueling freedom, or simply mowing the strategic lawn, Bunker Branding keeps you mission ready, wrinkle-free, and unmistakably American.